Moving on to the next example, at what x values is the tangent on the function x to the power 3 minus x squared minus 6x parallel to the line 5x plus y plus 1 equals 0. So before we get into the mechanics, let me show you visually what's happening. So if I take this function here and graph it, you can factor it actually into this. So then it's just going to be a cubic function with x-intercepts of negative 2, 0, and 3. And if I take this line here and then isolate for the y to put it into y equals mx plus b form, we would have negative 5x minus 1. So that would be this line here. And we basically want to find any points on this function here, any x values, for which a tangent on the function is going to be parallel to this line. So if we take this line and put it on this function somewhere, at what x values is the tangent on the function going to be parallel to this line? So maybe even here, if we draw a tangent there, it's almost parallel to this line. So maybe at this x value here, that would be one place. And perhaps even up here too, because if we draw a tangent up there on the function, all three of these lines seem like they are close to parallel. So perhaps there will be two x values on this function for which the tangent is going to be parallel to this line. Now, you don't always have to draw the functions when you're given a question, but I thought I would draw it in this example just to give you a visual of what we are doing. We are solving for these x values here. Now, because this tangent or these tangents, we still don't know whether we're only going to get one x value or two x values. Because these tangents are parallel to this line, we know that the slope of these tangents and this line are going to be the same. And this line here has a slope of negative 5 because we have it in y equals mx plus b form. So the m value is negative 5. So we know that the slope of the tangent on this function also has to equal negative 5 because it's going to be parallel to that line. Now we know that we can find the slope of the tangent on this function at any x value as long as we have its derivative. So if we find the derivative of this function, we would have 3x squared minus 2x minus 6. So this here, this derivative of this function gives us the slope of any tangent at any x value. But we want to find the x values for which the slope of the tangent is going to equal negative 5. So we would just solve this equation here. We would solve when does the derivative, at what x values does the derivative equal negative 5. So then solving this, we would just bring the negative 5 over. So we'd have 3x squared minus 2x, negative 6 plus 5 would give us negative 1, and that equals 0. And now we just have a quadratic equation. So you could put in the quadratic formula. I think this is actually going to factor smoothly. So we'd have 3x plus 1 and then x minus 1. And that equals 0. So we know that our x values are negative 1 over 3 and 1. So those are our answers right there. So at an x value of negative 1 over 3 and at an x value of 1, the slopes of the tangents are parallel to that line 5x plus y plus 1 equals 0. And the way we did that, we found the derivative of this function, which is right here, the 3x squared minus 2x minus 6. And we know that the derivative gives us the slope of the tangent at any x value. Well, we're trying to find the x values for which the slope of the tangent is going to equal negative 5, be parallel to that line, and that line has a slope of negative 5. So we make that derivative equal to negative 5, bring the negative 5 over, solve, and we get those two x values. So usually what happens is we're asked to find the slope of a tangent at a specific x value. So usually we find the derivative and then we plug an x value into the derivative to get that specific slope. But in this case, they want to know the points at which the slope of the tangent is equal to something. So it's sort of like the opposite. So we're given the slope of the tangent and we have to find the points. 
So then doing that and we get those x values of negative 1 over 3 and positive 1. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.